In November, Nashville voters will decide whether to approve a sales tax increase that would boost bus service, build more sidewalks, and upgrade hundreds of traffic lights in Nashville. The mayor's office says a typical household would pay about $70 more in sales tax each year to fund it. But opponents of the plan say the tax unfairly impacts the poorest people in Nashville because they generally spend a larger portion of what they bring in on items that are charged a sales tax. You're spending most of your paycheck on rent, groceries, gasoline, etc. So a bigger portion of your paycheck is going to go to pay the tax. Now, if you're in a higher income, you're still paying, you know, mortgage, you're, you're buying groceries, you're paying for gas, okay, but you're doing a lot of other things too that don't get assessed a sales tax. You know, you're, you're saving money, you're investing. Mayor Freddie O'Connell said today there are benefits to the referendum that will specifically impact folks with lower incomes. Ultimately, the way that the program is going to offer free or reduced fares to people who may have uh, cost of living challenges in a way that we've never been able to do as a system, uh, we think that this is a high impact, low cost program that's going to benefit tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Nashvilleans, uh, and that it's going to be one of our key affordability tools. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.